Hello everyone! I have received several requests about how we can uh, pull AC from the electric vehicle and uh, I thought about this a lot and I decided not to mess around with the uh, 400 volts because that is really dangerous so uh, I found one easy solution that uh, you can pull AC from the Volkswagen uh, e-up or any electrical vehicle, electric vehicle. So let's let me show you what uh, I have made. So this is the car uh, under the botnet, and this is the high voltage module here. Uh, these terminals here are the terminals from the batteries, uh, but that is really dangerous to mess around with 400 volts. First thing I thought I will uh, open this. Uh, make a hole here, put some cables and do some uh, inverter here but uh, I, I would like not to mess around with this or at least not mess around and uh, show on YouTube uh, stuff like 400 volts and how we can kill ourselves uh, that's why I wanted to mess around with this battery here this is a 12 volt battery uh, and I don't know if you are aware but this battery is constantly charged from the high voltage battery whenever the car is turned on and the car has a DC to DC converter which convert the, the 400 volts to 12 volts in order to charge the, this, this battery if you see the fuse box here uh, this is the main fuse box where the charger uh, is charging the car and you can see that it's rated in 250 amps which is quite a lot this is around uh, 250 around 3 kilowatts of power can be pulled from uh, this battery so let's let me uh, hook up here uh, some stuff and show you my testing uh, stand so in order to have the AC, I need an inverter like this. This is a 12 volt inverter, 2.5 kilowatts inverter. Uh, so this is a big heavy inverter. You can see the link to this inverter uh, of the video description below here. Uh, I have used this inverter for many, many years. I think five years is uh, serving me very well. Uh, so I will hook this into the uh, 12 volt battery and we will test it. The setup is like this. This is the inverter. This here, you can see that from the minus of the inverter, I am hooked up this meter here, which may, will uh, measure how much power I consume from the battery and the other end is going in the battery minus and i will put here the battery plus there will be some sparks so don't worry about that okay you can see that uh, the car the car uh, voltage is 12.86 uh, and uh, the inverter is drawing 0.8 amp from the battery let me turn it on okay now you can see it's, it's consuming 1.7 amps from the battery the battery voltage is still the same let me hook just to be sure my multimeter to the battery and see what will be the measurement uh, there my multimeter is hooked here to the battery it points it shows 12.77 volts and this meter is showing 12.86 volts so they are pretty close let me turn on the inverter again you can see here that around 2 amps are drained from the battery the battery voltage doesn't drop here the same so let me put some load into the inverter the first load that I will use are 
those those two uh, 20 hundred watts halogen lamps each one is 100 watt I don't know if you can see it here each one is 100 watt and they are both are connected to this uh, connector here so let me turn on the I will hold it like this just to make sure it will be very brighter so I apologize if it will be a mess in the video so let me you can see yeah working pretty well let me check the the consumption you can see 16 around 17 amps are drained from the battery Battery is still okay. Here is the same, 12.56, it's okay. I will leave it a couple of more seconds to run like this. And then we'll increase the load. For this is 200 watts. Uh, it's pretty well currently. Uh, I know that the inverter now is not kicked in because uh, if it starts to charge the battery, the battery voltage will go around uh, 14 volts. So I think that's enough for this test. Let's put some, some bigger load. Before we continue to uh, load more the, this, this converter, uh, let me first tell you that you can see here that the disk to disk converter kicked in and start charging the battery. This is because I turn on the uh, head uh, headlights. If you don't uh, turn on the headlights, the disk to disk converter uh, won't work or it will work depending on the voltage of the battery. I haven't tested that, but I'm sure that it is working whenever the headlights are turned on. So turn them on. Uh, leave all the other electronics turned off and let's load this uh, converter. For a load, I will use this hair driver. You can see, uh, I think it was here somewhere. This is a 1.3 1 kilowatts uh, hair dryer. So I will hook it and start testing the load of this with converter. The head dryer is now hooked onto the inverter. You can see the cable here. So let me just turn this a little bit. Okay, let me put the head dryer in medium. You can see that I am draining around five, 510 watts from the battery and that is actually not the battery this is the disk disk converter because from this load the battery continues to operate pretty well normal uh, you can see that the, the disk disk converter can uh, charge the battery and simultaneously deliver around 500 watts let me run it like this for a couple of minutes i want to see my multimeter Okay, it shows 13.38 watts, which is showing 12.56, but that's because it's hooked on the inverter and there may be a drop of the of voltage here. So I would leave it to run like this for a couple of minutes. enough uh, you can see that I have drained let me put somewhere the head there. Uh, I have drained 161 watt hours 
So that was pretty pretty well for the DC disk converter to uh, keep with 40 amps constantly. Uh, I think it is ready. I'm ready for the new challenges and to uh, put the hair dryer in the maximum speed. But in order to do that, I need to change these wires here because they are very uh, thin and I will replace them with these welding wires that can easily handle around 200 amps. So let me change the, everything here and we'll get back with the new setup. All right, the setup is now ready. I have placed the bigger cables. Uh, one problem that I hit is that meter actually is limited to 100 amps. So it cannot measure the full load of the hairdryer. So uh, again, inverter is on, the hairdryer is plugged in in the inverter, this is the cable of the hairdryer. I have put here my multimeter because it can uh, it can measure more than 100 amp. I think it's 400 amps capable of measuring. So let's first again put into the medium. You can see 44 amps are drained from the battery. The voltage is stable. Now let's hit it harder. So 104 amps are drained from the battery. You can show the voltage. 12.9 volts. My inverter it started to a little bit to warm up. Uh, you saw that I can easily pull up 110 amps. Yeah, this is my uh, multimeter. If it is lift like this, it start to make uh, these noises. So you saw that it is able to drain around one 1.3 kilowatts from the. Uh, from the 12 volt battery, not from the battery, but from this DC converter. Uh, so that's uh, pretty good, I see. Uh, I think that we can drain around 1.5 kilowatt from the uh, this, this converter, but let's not push it very hard. All right, this is how I managed to have uh, an AC from my uh, car. Uh, you can do that in any electric vehicle. You just need to know what is the DC to DC step down converter capable of delivering. In my case, I think it's uh, enough to have uh, 1.5 kilowatt to drain 1.5 kilowatt from the from the inverter. Uh, so this opens the door for a lot of experiment experiments. For example, you can go to a picnic, bring your uh, electric uh, grill with you, and just hook the inverter into the car and cook some meals on the on the uh, outside. Uh, also, I think uh, I can uh, manage to charge a car using my car. So, for example, if someone um, has run out of juice on the road, uh, you can always go to him, uh, put the inverter into uh, your uh, car, and use the charger to charge his car as uh, long as he's needed to go to the next charging station. Uh, if you if you want to buy an inverter like this, I recommend the ones that I'm using, but the lower with the capacity, because mine is 2.5 kilowatts and you will not need more than 1.5. So the link to the my inverter, you can uh, find the link uh, to the description of the video below. Uh, I have also found a uh, suitable inverter which is 1.5 kilowatts. So if you want to buy it, just uh, 
pick it. So that's uh, everything for this, this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.